In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ArcGIS Explorer map, a map that you can share with other ArcGIS Explorer users. And uh, this map is going to contain shapefiles and layer packages and KML. And uh, one of the problems that people often have when they start building a map is that when they want to share it with someone else, they have to figure out a way to get the data that goes with the map to that person as well because ArcGIS Explorer maps actually reference the data that's added to them. Uh, the map itself does not contain all of the data. So I'm going to show you how you can use ArcGIS Online to solve that problem. And as long as the people that you want to share the map with have an internet connection, they'll be able to view the map. So let's get started just by building a map. So I'm going to go ahead and add a shapefile to this map. And uh, from my local computer, I'll just add this Wisconsin County's shapefile. And we'll see that added into the map here. I'll go ahead and change the symbology. I'll pick this green outline. And if we look at the properties, uh, we can see here that it is referenced on my local drive, on the C drive. And uh, you can see the path here. And uh, if I save this map right now, so we'll go ahead and uh, save it. Uh, if I take this map and give it to someone else, when they opened it up, they'd get an error message saying that the Wisconsin County layer is broken because they don't have access to my C drive. They can't, the map can't uh, open up that data and add it. So one of the ways that we can solve that problem is by using ArcGIS Online. And we can do that right from within ArcGIS Explorer. So the first thing that we'll want to do is sign in to ArcGIS Online. We do that from the File menu. When we click Sign In, we'll get a Sign In dialog. And on this dialog, it's prompting for a username and password. So to work with ArcGIS Online, you need to have an account. And uh, if you don't have an account, you can get a new account. And there's a link here right on the dialog that we can click on. And that'll take us to the web page. Uh, with information about getting an ArcGIS Online account. And uh, as you can see here on the left hand side, there are options for getting a subscription with a 30 day free trial. And if you're not ready to subscribe, you can get a free personal account. And uh, all you need to do to get a personal account is to register your ESRI Global account with ArcGIS Online. And if you don't have an ESRI Global account, you can get one of those here too. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to demo how you would go through the process of doing this. But uh, once you have your account, then you can come back to ArcGIS Explorer, as we are here, and you can just click Sign In. So this connects to ArcGIS Online. And once we're signed in, if we look at the file menu, you, we, we can see that it's now flipped to a sign out uh, for my user account. So we're signed into ArcGIS Online. And what I'd like to do is put this shapefile on ArcGIS Online. So I'll right click on the layer in my table of contents. I'll click Share. And from the sharing uh, for uh, shapefiles, we have two options. You can share it as map content, or you can share it as a layer package. I'm interested in the layer package because a layer package contains not only the instructions for how to draw the data, but also the data itself. And you can create layer packages in uh, ArcGIS Desktop, ArcMap, and ArcGlobe as well. So we'll go ahead and take a layer package. On the next dialog, we have choices of where to create this layer package. Um, we can just create a file on disk, or we can even attach it to an email. But as I said earlier, we want to get this onto the internet so that I can share it with everyone. So I'll go ahead and choose ArcGIS Online. And so at this point, it opens up the upload dialog. And uh, ArcGIS Online content, um, because it's going into a system where you search for it, um, we want to tag it. We want to provide information that's searchable. So it takes the name of the layer, which is in this case is the wi underscore county, and it asks for a summary. So we'll just say uh, Wisconsin counties and a demo. And then we can put in a description. So we'll just say description. And you can put in credits uh, as far as the data rights. 
And uh, for tags, I'll just uh, put in video demo as a tag. And then we choose who we want to share this with. I'm going to share this with everyone. Um, as part of ArcGIS Online, you can be a member of groups and uh, you can share with specific groups the content that you upload. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and share it with everyone. So I'll go ahead and upload this. So what it's going to do is take that shape file and uh, create a layer package, and then it's going to upload it to ArcGIS Online. And we see the little upload dialog show up here. And uh, once this goes away, um, we'll know that it's completed and uh, it's up there on ArcGIS Online. So what we'll do now is using search inside of ArcGIS Explorer, uh, we'll search ArcGIS Online for that package that we just uploaded. And I tagged it with video demo. So I'll type in video demo and hit return. And this will show us all of the items on ArcGIS Online tagged with video demo. And here amongst the three items that are returned, we can see there's this Wisconsin County, which looks very similar uh, to the one we have in our map, and that's because it's the one that we just uploaded. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn off the, the shapefile that we have in our map, and I'll right click and add this layer package to our map. So now it downloads that shapefile and adds it into our map. And uh, basically we have this the same content in our map twice at this point, but the important thing about the layer package from ArcGIS Online is that when I look at its properties and I go to the data source, we can see that it's got two sources and the one of the sources is the actual ArcGIS Online location. And that's important because when we give our map to someone else, what ArcGIS Explorer is going to do is it's going to look at this source here for the local source and if it doesn't find it, it will fall back and get the source from the ArcGIS Online location. So you can almost think of layer packages as, as being a way to put local cache on your machine and if the local cache doesn't exist it will go back and, and get the source data from ArcGIS Online. So I can go ahead and remove the shape file and uh, further, I can add other items from ArcGIS Online. And the important thing for ArcGIS Explorer users is that when you find items on ArcGIS Online through the search dialog inside of ArcGIS Explorer, when you add them, they maintain their reference to ArcGIS Online. So I'll go ahead and add this uh, raster data for the Wisconsin State Capitol. And it zooms into the, to the capital area of Madison. And we can see that's just a little raster here with some imagery for the Capitol building. And if I go back and look at the properties for it, we can see here too that on the source data it's coming from ArcGIS Online. And then it's got it stored locally on my machine as well. And if we go ahead and add some KML, just a little a point location for uh, the capital, KML, and if we right click on the KML, go back to the source data, and here too we see that it's referenced uh, to ArcGIS Online. Now the thing to be aware of is that you don't need to use ArcGIS Explorer to put everything up onto ArcGIS Online and then consume it back inside of ArcGIS Explorer. Uh, the basic point here is that you want to put all of your GIS data, uh, the rasters, the shapefiles, uh, file geodatabases, put those into a layer package, upload the layer packages to ArcGIS Online. You can do that through the web browser or directly from ArcMap or ArcGlobe or direct, directly from ArcGIS Explorer as we've done here. Uh, you can also upload KML just through the ArcGIS Online website. Just browse for the KML file and add it. Um, once it's an item in ArcGIS Online, when we add it in through ArcGIS Explorer, it'll, it'll maintain that path. And now at this point, I can uh, share this map. And uh, I'll go ahead and upload this whole map to ArcGIS Online. And Wisconsin, so Wisconsin 
demo map and put in Wisconsin again and we'll put video demo in for the tag and share it with everyone I'll go, ho go ahead and upload this and uh, now you could go to ArcGIS Online or open up ArcGIS Explorer and go to the search window search video demo and uh, just as we've done here so we'll update the search results by clicking again uh, we see that our Explorer map has been added uh, to the search or the results returned in the search and uh, you can go ahead and add this map and you'll see the shapefile, the layer package, and the KML all as we just have it here so we've got a, a completely portable map now which uh, benefits from using ArcGIS Online for our data sources and uh, thanks for uh, watching this demo.